Hello. You know, tell, tell everyone that today's my actual birthday, March 9th. Yesterday was International Women's Day. We're amazing spending all this quality time with five women that are very important in my life. Yes, and it can, if you'd like my get up, it's so cool because, oh my gosh, I love it. It's all these cats. So, you know, it's symbolic to all these people that love cats. I have cats on my mask and then cats on my shirts. Very nice. Got all these cats. Isn't that lovely? Mm. What a lovely shirt. Lovely. <laughs> I really like this shirt. I got this shirt a few months ago and I prepared it just for my birthday. Lovely. <laughs> but I'm thank very thankful all the women in my life. So this part actually is Kathy's part. Kathy is my Italian work mom. Yeah. Her gift is so lovely. Look at this. Do you see this? She got this really cute bag. Let me show you the whole bag. Oh, this happy birthday to you. It has hearts and many balloons. It's so cute. It's, kind, it's quite heavy. And like, look at all these um, streamers or ribbons. Look at that. Look at, oh, oh my God, look, look. This is part of her gift. It's just lovely. I'm trying to not break stuff that's in the bag. It's like my first time receiving balloons from pe people, anyone. So she, she she knows that I'm Chinese, so I like the number eight. So she got the four like semi -prim primary colors. There's blue, there's yellow, there's red, there's green, and there's two of each. So she got this for me on Monday the seventh, and I was like in tears because it's just. I have never been given balloons before in all 30 years and it's so rainbow. I love rainbow. Just one color is not enough for me. Simple, yet very sweet, very thoughtful because I love adding color to my life. Look how colorful this bag is. A simple gift with a lot of love and consideration can make me have happy tears. I just love wearing this mask, but the next part of this video requires me to talk more. So, I don't want to cover my mask. But you know, this mask is gorgeous. It's very fitting. Um, because last year I got a panda and I got a dog. So, this year I'm like, let's get alien cats. <laughs> Weird. But, like, what is inside this box? Mmm, look at this. For rare Rocher. Mm. So, milk chocolate hazelnut which is uh, surprisingly i can't have this so this gift is really for leo leo always benefits from my gifts mm. but oh let me show you oh look at this this came out of the bag okay it came out of the bag and it's you should all try this it's apple cider we, me and Kathy used to get this like every other week when we used to work together at No Frills. And that's where she became my Italian work mom. And she's, you know, lovely, okay? But I need you, everyone, to like, just bear with me as I read this very touching. It's very simple, but yeah, it's so touching. Like I, I, when I read this on Monday, I was, literally crying this this panda here loves to cry look look at it bright yellow golden sunshine it's like my personality this reminds me of leo because it's blue and he loves blue he's probably the, the person that loves blue the most look at this so colorful when i saw this i was like kathy you outdone yourself look at all the colors and this like even this envelope is so extra look at this rainbow card did i tell you that i love rainbow it's rainbow it's happy birthday to you and it's the same thing as a bag simple and yet so sweet and when you open the the card this pops up money 
but it's exactly $30, which is my age. The best part is not because she wants to give me $30, but the fact that this is for a donation. So every year I try to donate to a cause. So this year, because um, of my love for all the beautiful women in the world, you know, five moms, I am going to donate $300 to breast cancer. And that's my goal. That's what I'm gonna do for this year's charity. Usually, I donate to children like UNICEF, um, WWF, and mainly Jane Goodall Institute during my time at Glendon. Oh, such good times with Glendon. Shell out to all the um, Grassies and Glendonites and UNICEF members. I miss you so dearly. This past weekend was quite hard for me because usually I would celebrate my birthday with like 20 to 50 people throughout the whole month, you know, just on one day, 10 times throughout the month for the last five, seven years. So I wanted to make my 30th birthday special. Mm. But you know, everything has to be like on the screen or socially distanced, but it's okay. Like I, I saw people from afar and I still got to hang out with all my beloved moms. So I feel very blessed, but look at her card. It's so beautiful because it's yellow on one side again and blue on the other. But I have to say it's not the easiest to read blue on blue. Like maybe black would have been better. Let me read this and you can tell if I'm just being savvy, I like an emotional wreck. Or is this like this one of the most genuine, sweetest card have you have ever heard? <clears throat> so it starts here. <laughs> Like, she actually starts right here, but like, if you can see, it already touched me. It says, to Colvin, son, in brackets. <gasps> yes! You know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, you're my favorite, you're my Italian work mom. Or, like, you know, I have an Indian work mom, normal, I have a Hong Kong work mom. May, hello, shout out to everyone. And then my own biological mother, Tin Sum, like, with Sky's heart. That's basically her translation, Guy's heart. And then I have Leo's mom, right? But um, this is Kathy, that my Italian mom. And she wrote, love your Italian work mom, right? And of course, then she, she wrote um, her husband, Randy. But let me read this card. Wow, what can I say, Colvin? Son, oh, she wrote that again, twice. The days we work at No Frills, and she underscored this, underlined it. You were at PC Financial, and she was uh, me as a cashier. All I could hear is laughter from far, from afar, and wonder who is laughing so joyfully. I was walking by doing baskets and heard the joyful laughter again, and it was you. Then we start chatting while you were helping me doing baskets. And my mom instincts kick in as a token of appreciation. We started to share apple cider. Hence the skip. <laughs> um, and then she even made vegan pizza. <gasps> Amazing, right? I loved it. It was really good. Like one of my best pizza. And she made it. That was my first homemade pizza and it was really good. The fact that she's so used to having meat, right? But she made something that completely vegan for me, even though she eats meat herself. I was so touched. You know, from that day on, I was your Italian work bomb. Love Colvin, my son, to the moon and back. Your Italian work mom, Kathy. I loved how she wrote this, like the Italian work mom four or five times. This is really sweet. I'm, I'm actually reading it very calmly today, but when she gave me this gift in person, I was bawling. I couldn't read it out loud. I was just bawling. And when you say that this shirt and my mask is perfect for this card, not only am I shirt rainbow, but there is a lot of colors and the balloons that she gave me and this lovely bag. Very simple gift, but it's all from the heart. So, yeah, everything that I really treasure in my life is usually handmade and from the heart. 
Um, I often love to have lavish meals. I love lavish meals. And sometimes I have hotel stays and road trips. But to me, my favorite, favorite gifts are those that are practical and from the heart. And the gimbal I'm using from Leo, this Fitbit that he gave me, the phone to record this, those are my favorite gift from Leo because seeing these three gifts instantly remind me of him. And he's good at technology. But my work moms, you know, like most moms, they're very caring, they're very affectionate, and they, they write really well. They Not only can they express their love for me in, you know, writing orally in like our like little interviews that you might have heard, or through food. And then even gifts that symbolizes and represents our glorious meetings, like how we first met and our traditions. So for her birthday on March 3rd, I gave Kathy, and on separate occasions too, a, you know, a mango green tea bubble tea, because that's what we did every week or so. And then we, I also got her a waffle. That was for my birthday gift. It's you know, mall. I, I want to do something bigger but I'm going to save it all for when we can dine out together. We are going to go not from below on the ground service, but we're going to go to the highest peak with the best view in Toronto. <laughs> we wanted to do that last year in summer, but you know, plans had to be canceled and when I heard some of the stories or like the message that May left me, it was pretty sad because I want to celebrate her birthday. May sound a bit lonely, but we are going to celebrate together, everyone, when we're all vaccinated and we're all, you know, apart right now, but we are going to be healthier. We're going to survive this and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all these simple, lovely, heartfelt gifts. Thank you for making my 30th birthday special. And thank you for showing that you care about little old panda. Okay, tears, bye-bye. <laughs>